True story. I promise to tell her the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's how bold I told myself whenever I was away from her and my friends try to make mockery and ridicule my lack of courage by being rude. They'll say, go tell her, dude. Several years today, here am I, fearless and bold. Wishing I would have told you how I felt about you. Written, rich, wishing I would have written you a poem that would have told of your value. A poem that would have told you how I paraded the stretch of road from hospital runabout to Azumi New Church every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays from 3 to 5 p.m. just hoping you would decide to take your usual stroll so my eyes could behold you. A poem that would have explained to you how I sneaked, or should I say, tiptoed behind you, counting your every step. Enjoying the rhythm as you place one leg in front of the other like a spirited princess going down the aisle to meet her prince charming. A poem that would have told you how I could not stand or resist your presence and how I could not persist or tolerate your absence. A poem that would have told you how I had to stop myself from listening to Braxton's Spanish guitar, how I'd break my heart or Westlife's flying without wings. Just so these feelings burning within me could stop consuming me. A poem that would have told you how they mocked at me, they laughed at me, pitied me, shamed me for wallowing down the valley of low spirit. Or a poem that would have told you how I spent sleepless nights without studying, for my exams lost all its ability to make me so, for I wanted you more. I needed you, for sure. I needed to feel you go. How I wish I would have said something. How I wish I would have said something that day when you boarded the same taxi I was in, we all heading to write our exam, but oh no. Oh no. I kept looking through the window, through out the ride to the exam center. I guess I lacked the courage. I guess all I felt I could not find the words to have expressive, expressively expressed my impressions. I guess what I felt, I could not find the word, so in silence, I found solace. Pardon me. Forgive me. Believe me. For I did care. And love was all I wanted us to share.